Our first um, speaker is Ron Brumbarger. Ron is one of Indiana's most recognized technology and education entrepreneurs. In 1992, Ron co-founded Bitwise Solutions, Inc., and continues to serve as the company's president and CEO. Ron's foray into education started in 2006 when Governor Mitch Daniels requested that he launch Indiana's first statewide virtual charter school, known now as Hoosier Academies. In 2013, Ron founded Apprentice University, an award-winning proficiency college serving motivated high school graduates eager to accomplish more than a traditional college degree. In 2016, Ron published his first book, You're Always Being Interviewed. His, uh, he and his wife, Cindy, enjoy traveling, spending time with their two sons, Tanner and Hudson. Please help me welcome Ron to the Spark stage. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's an honor to be here with you this evening. <clears throat> I want to share with you a little bit about uh, something I'm passionate about, and that's education. Those of you that know me know that uh, I spend a lot of time working on this particular subject. Uh, here's the one screen, where is it? One screen bio that, that I'll get to share with you. <clears throat> what I want to challenge all of us with tonight is to urgently reimagine education. Do we have an option? Do we have an option? We've, why wouldn't we just passively reimagine education? Anybody here believe that our education system is succeeding and serving our needs? Raise your hand. Didn't think so. No one ever says okay. So this is a trigger warning before you uh, proceed here. Uh, some content here uh, may not uh, be politically correct, so we'll proceed with that warning in place. Weighing the options, we have a choice. Should we remodel or reimagine education? Let's look at the differences. If we reimagine, we get a clean slate. We get to start over, bright, pre fresh, fresh canvas. Uh, we have a cornucopia of ideas, and it could be revolutionary. We could have a totally fresh approach to education. But we might face a steep adoption curve. We might have an enigma, something that people just can't quite understand. I get that. If we remodel, anybody here ever been through a remodeling process at your house? Uh, yeah, terrible, right? Just go home. Um, it's dusty. Uh, there's lots of momentum, P equals MV. Right? There's lots of momentum and mass. It's really hard to overcome that overhead. Um, and it can cause tussling, and we have to use a lot of caulk to make the ends match that don't quite meet. But there might be some salvageable elements as we reimagine education through a remodel process. Why reimagine? There's a shortage of talent. Anybody here have enough people at their firm? No one ever says yes. Um, we, we need students that understand situational awareness, that have an appreciation of rights versus privileges. Um, and we also need, and we have a shortage of students where there's an appetite for lifelong learning. You hear the phrase, I'm out of school. No one's ever out of school. Why, who here is ever out of school? It doesn't work, right? So we have an opportunity. So why reimagine? Well, I suggest that uh, we have an opportunity. Everybody remember this gal? Right? We have an opportunity to reimagine education, that we need professionals, young professionals, that we believe have been inculcated with a work ethic. We have an opportunity to hire students who can put the PC-mindedness that they might, might have been uh, exposed to in school behind them. And finally, uh, we really want those students that have the morals and values that we can employ. That's the truth. <clears throat> but in the process of reimagining, we might have to ask some really tough questions. Does traditional education discourage scrambling, urgency? Does it encourage resourcefulness? I don't think so. Uh, and then finally, how might we applaud a sack or failure? Why don't we applaud a failure in education? Not an F because you didn't try, an F because you didn't get it, and you went back and you tried it again, and then you got it. What's wrong with that? Well, we have a one-and-done education system. You failed the first test, you're out. Finally, let's talk about expecting. Let's talk about expecting a business plan, not just writing it. Let's talk about teaching where to find the dots, not just how to connect them. And last, let's teach the process of ideation, bidding for a group like this. And make, and make ideation habitual. Let's make it the standard. I'm almost done. Uh, the last thing I want to thank 
what I want to say is um, let's expect more from our graduates across the board. Let's not be shocked when we find that rare gem that comes to us. So lace up. Will you join me? Thank you.